Welcome to the final day of the 2019 BCVS here in Boston. I'm Jill Tarta from the University of Arizona at Tucson. I'm here with my two co-organizers, Lauren Wald from the Ohio State University and Sakti Sariapan from University of Cincinnati. Lauren's going to lead off today talking about what's gone on in the last few days. And Thank you once again for all coming. It's been a whirlwind several days of sessions. I, I think when we were planning this, we had no idea that it would uh, be such an exceptional turnout. And the sessions have, have really provided some exciting um, new concepts and, and new presentations that we haven't seen before. So, um, you know, personally, I thought the, the session on cardio-oncology was really exciting, which is a set, which is a, an area that has really grown over the last several years, and, and I think that that was really exciting. And, and seeing the theme that's running through a lot of the sessions, that's the inflammation which we, which we know in the field is, is sort of present in everything. And, um, and also I thought that the, the interaction among the clinicians and basic scientists has, has really been exciting at this meeting. A lot of times, um, at least personally, you, you see there's, there's the camps that um, are working together, but this has really been a cohesive um, networking of basic scientists and clinicians. And, and several other sessions uh, which, which I think are, are worthy of noting um, recently, the artificial intelligence, which which is an area that a lot of us is, is very foreign to us. And I thought that that was really exciting to see um, and how that's becoming so important in, in our field of cardiovascular sciences. And so, you know, I think, I think we've learned a lot for the next year's programming for Chicago. Um, but I think that, you know, it's, it, things have gone quite well and I'm, I'm really excited um, how people have, have come together and given us ideas already for next year and, and just the leaving now, just the enthusiasm that's been generated is, is really exciting. I follow up on uh, Lauren that um, they started with on Sunday, great symposium uh, with the uh, South Asians and, and Yaker, Japanese and uh, Korean um, sessions. Then after that, and we had um, Monday morning started with uh, early careers. I mean, they had so many new ideas. Now they wanted to expand and uh, so many new sessions. Uh, for example, um, yesterday we had one, um, the cardiac organize, I was uh, very excited, like how you make small organs in a petri dish. Organize, yeah. Yeah, the organize is kind of next level. Um, we talk about iPSC-derived cardiomyocytes. Um, is that enough to study the disease pathogenesis? Um, maybe not. I mean, we don't know. But, but the point is now they are making organs on, on a petri dish. Um, so you can do whole physiology. You can study the pathology. So... That was an exciting session that we had yesterday. Um, also, um, I would also emphasize that um, Dr. Cricket Seidman was uh, our keynote speaker yesterday, was like mind blowing. I mean, see her career starting from uh, an identifying gene mutation on myosin heavy chain. Now today, um, you know, we have a molecule that can treat patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. It's already on clinical trial three. Um, it's a wonderful journey. Uh, we learned um, from her, um, you know, uh, scientific contribution as well as all the challenges I think she went through. It was a wonderful session that we learned yesterday. I think um, uh, we, uh, in this time, we focused on heart failure predominantly, like revisiting where we are and how we uh, treat this complex disease. Heart failure, when you talk about heart failure, it's not like one no single thing <laughs> really um, so really. that's what that really our focus this meeting so then um, taking this uh, to the next level I think um, Jill can talk about the workshops that we had in the last uh, three two days actually thanks Uncle. yeah we had um, two novel workshops this year that we put together originally to help um, educate and involve our junior colleagues and interestingly enough, both of these workshops turned out to be profoundly well attended by investigators at all levels. The first one uh, was on Tuesday, and this was a panel um, made up of our colleagues from the NIH. Um, first, Renee Wong, who is the uh, program officer at um, NHLBI, 
and a fantastic panel of um, SROs, uh, Margie Chandler, Abdel Abdi, and um, Kim Haman. What this whole session was designed to do was to literally demystify the whole process of applying for NIH grants and, and how the process really works and why program and CSR are separate. And really what, for our junior colleagues, what happens after you hit submit? What happens to your application? You know, right. what is the process? Right. Um, you know, these are things that we all think we actually understand, but as I explained to Dr. Wong when we were discussing this, I learn something new every time I speak to her. Right. So this session was really, um, as I said, very well attended, and it was set up as a question and answer yeah. after a short presentation. And I think that um, everyone really benefited from hearing uh, from these you know, long-term NIH um, colleagues who have yeah. really been there for a long time and understand the process, and were able to explain it well. And, and I think really, really putting, making it clear to um, our colleagues that you know they're there to help. They're there to you know, help us do well. And so it was a very successful um, workshop. Um, Dr. Wong told me afterwards that she was answering questions for an hour after the session, <laughs> just to give you an idea of how, how successful it was. And yesterday we had a session um, with a tremendous panel of uh, investigators, both from clinical research and basic and also translational, to um, help everyone learn how to work together in a more efficient way. So science, basic scientists and clinicians forging collaborations and um, new approaches to these complex disorders, which was actually the theme of the overall meeting. Um, this was the first time we had this particular panel, and um, it was also highly successful. I, I was quite impressed with how many questions people came and, and you know, very thoughtful questions about how to maneuver through these very complex interactions, and um, also very well received, um, full house and lots of questions afterwards. So going forward, um, I'm just going to toss out that uh, it would be great if anyone else in, you know, has any ideas about future workshops or things they'd like to see next year, please let us know. Um, and Lauren had some. Yeah, so I just want to welcome and thank the uh, new editorial staff of the journal Circulation Research, which of course is the partner journal of BCVS, and welcome the new editor, Dr. Jane Friedman, as well as the new editorial team, including our very own Dr. Tardif as one of the editors, and we're really excited to see the new era of, of circulation uh, research unfold. Very excited about that. Right, so we, we are really now uh, moving forward. We are really excited to have the 2020 BCVS in Chicago, uh, which is the hometown for Dr. Beth McNally. Uh, she's our next chair of the BCVS. Um, so again, we look forward to uh, getting any feedback, uh, new sessions, new topics, or new workshops. Um, I mean, we are here to listen. Um, so reach out to us, and we hope everyone will come and join us next year, July 27th to 30th, 2020, for BCBS in Chicago. Don't miss it.